he gets in, I can tell you right now, he will never leave. He will never leave. You know that. He will never leave. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, the super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, doke party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, party people, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, so it is a full day of the deliberation of the Hush Money case. Um, yesterday I posted and um, I was making, I was poking fun at the defense with their two hour long uh Closing arguments, man, it was like, ugh, would you wrap it up, land the plane? But the prosecution, <laughs> they did five hours. Oh, my God. Poor jury. They had to sit there and listen to that all the way to 7, 8 o'clock. Oh, my God. And it's pretty bad. Like I said, it's a, it's a weak case. Everybody says it's a weak case. They had to have a perjurer to come on, a prawn star to get on, lie they kept witnesses out they gagged trump so the stack deck is already here what what michael's getting at is the is the burden of proof is an important one to remind everyone it's on the prosecution right they need to prove beyond reasonable doubt that he commit that donald trump broke the law and you think after listening to all of this you think they fell short how they fell way short because let's start with reasonable doubt what is reasonable doubt? And it's not simply a doubt based upon reason. Anytime a human being needs to make an important decision in life, if you have enough information, for example, doctor says you need open heart surgery, doc, go ahead and schedule. I don't have a reasonable doubt. Conversely, if I say, I appreciate it, but I need a second opinion, I need more information. That is having a reasonable doubt. There is reasonable doubt all over this case. Where is Keith Schiller? Where is Alan Weisselberg? How did Michael Cohn get away with stealing $30,000? Hold a pity party for him. Made $4 million on this. Thought he'd be chief of staff. He's a fixer. If the plumber comes to my house to fix my leak, I could be home. That doesn't mean I know how he's doing it and what it's taking to be fixed. Stormy Daniels, let's hold a pity party for her. Why do we need to know whether or not the former president wore a condom or not? It's simply about did the former president know that books, his records, false entries for legal fees. Michael Cohen was his lawyer. Did he intend to cover up the election or to protect his family? It's every, everywhere. When, when Randy gets to whisper tones, I start getting concerned. Now, to show how much political this is, we have Mr. De Niro. Bobby De Niro is out here campaigning on behalf of Mr. Biden here. But this city is pretty accommodating. We make room for clowns. We have them all over the city. People who do crazy things in the street, we tolerate it. It's part of the city it's part of the culture but not a person like trump who will eventually run the country that does not work and we all know that and mr biden is going to have mr de Niro on a chair with him going to city to city trying to ramp up his his support okay we already know bobby de Niro has a hard on for trump i'm talking about a stiffy it's no surprise that the murder rate and other violent crimes peaked under Trump and are falling under Biden. And now he's promising to use our own military to attack U.S. citizens. That's the tyrant. Trump bought their votes with outrageous lies and empty promises. He got the most religious evangelicals to applaud a sinner. 
sexual assault. Somehow he even got self-styled patriots to support a man who called for terminating the Constitution and on January 6th rallied an angry mob to threaten democracy, leaving death and destruction in its wake. That's why I needed to be involved and wanted to be involved in the new Biden-Harris ad, because it shows the violence of Trump and reminds us that he'll use violence against anyone who stands in the way of his megalomania and greed. Biden and Harris is not supposed to talk about Trump case. He's not supposed to, you know, not supposed to talk about it. But they got Bobby De Niro out there talking about it, and they're going to put Bobby De Niro on their campaign trail. It's a long list of six degrees of separation. Biden with the judge, Biden with uh, um, Alvin Bragg, you know, By, uh, Biden with Bobby De Niro. He's involved. Biden is involved with this case. This is all a way to shut down his political opponents. And here he goes. He even got Bobby De Niro in on it now. I don't mean to scare you. No, no, wait. Maybe I do mean to scare you. If Trump returns to the White House, you can kiss these freedoms goodbye that we all take for granted. And elections, forget about it. That's over. That's done. No class. No class at all. And he got his little midget over here. This tough guy, the wise guy over here, going to try to, you know. <laughs> but the New Yorkers, the New Yorkers have seen Bobby De Niro and they give him the business too. Let's go, let's go. 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 Let's